is Tuesday, June 16th, and I am finishing up the last section of the area between Front Royal and Harper's Ferry. Once I finish that today, that'll be about 13 and a half miles. I will have completed over 150 miles between Boiling Springs, Pennsylvania and Front Royal. So that's a that's good. <laughs> Going back to Tammy's tonight and figuring out when I'm heading back to Buffalo for the five days or so till the middle of next week. Then I'll be back at the Shenandoahs. I, uh, in doing that, you can expect a little bit of a lull in the videos. Um, I'll try to delay once I get started, uh, delay posting until at least four days into the trip. That way, if I do have interruption in cell service or the ability to upload, uh, it won't impact you guys being able to see things on a consistent basis. So, starting my climb, I have four miles of the roller coaster left to do. Finished up yesterday. I didn't really do a recap. There was a guy on trail, his name was Igor. He had stayed at the bed and breakfast I was in and actually had breakfast with him there. He was doing uh, some overnights and uh, was 20 miles the day before and I caught up with him on trail and he wasn't feeling so good. He had stomach problems. So I ended up taking him back to the bed and breakfast yesterday. So today I have a little bit of a headache. I'm not sure why. Uh, I'll try to drink more water. I thought I had enough yesterday. But anyway, 13 and a half today. I bought a sub yesterday. Oh, I did eat like a ton of food yesterday <laughs> for dinner. Uh, some Italian. Couldn't finish it all, of course. But I did order a sub to go. And that's what I'll eat for lunch today. All right, let me get going. I got some climbing to do. A couple of you have left in comments there seems to be an issue with my volume for my music so I am going to work on that I had it on automatic and it would be at a hundred percent so I'm not sure what's going on I will try to make an adjustment with beginning with episode 14 uh, to try to set it at manual 75% volume I just hope it doesn't reduce my voice. So we'll see. Um, continue the feedback. If you do notice an improvement after 14, episode 14, let me know. Or if you see no change, let me know also. So just wanted to let you know I'm working on it. I am using KindMaster for my video editing. Um, been working with it for a while. When I run my videos back, it sounds okay to me. So I'm not sure, and maybe it's just because I know what I'm saying that I can hear everything okay. So I, I just wanna make sure you knew I appreciated the comments, keep them coming, and uh, we'll see what we can do. I did finally figure out the volume envelope where I could actually make the music fade before I start talking. I didn't figure that out till about I don't know, three or four videos ago. <laughs> so I'm still learning, still trying to improve. Keep those comments coming. If the trees weren't there, that would be a good view. I'm almost at the top of my first big climb for the day. You can see the light up there. That means I'm almost there. Yay! I made it. Top of the hill. Time to catch my breath. Ooh. Temperature is great today. That climb made me sweat. I think it's in the low 60s. 
It's supposed to be overcast, although the sun is peeking through. Ah, nice day. Another nice day. So I'm having a Twix. I have no idea why they say left and right. Well, this is definitely what slows me down. We're going down the roller coaster now. <laughs> but I'm not as fast as a roller coaster. As cool as it is outside, I'm working up a sweat. So I met this lady yesterday in passing and I ran into you again today. So I thought I'd do a quick interview. Sure. If you could, can you introduce yourself and tell us what you're all about out here? Sure. I'm Pollyanna. I've been section hiking the AT since 2013. I retired last year and did about 500 miles last year. And this year I hope to finish the AT. I'm gonna hike north to North Adams, Massachusetts, and then flip back down, finish up Virginia, and hopefully summit at Roan Mountain so my family can be there to celebrate since we're all from Raleigh, North Carolina. So that's exciting. So I appreciate that you're talking with me and telling me all about your trip. So um, I wish you all the best on your travels and you're ready for a zero, right? I'm ready for a zero. 13 days of hiking. I'm get, taking a zero tomorrow and the next day. BJ, I hope you get a trail name soon. All right. <laughs> so I made it to Raven's Rock. It's very beautiful here. I uh, had a nice chat with Pollyanna. She's a lady that's been section hiking and should finish this year. She is 68 years old. Sounds like a very interesting person. Somebody that I would like to get to know. Um, she does missionary work, uh, has been to Haiti, and uh, just an all-around interesting person. She's doing this, and uh, she sounds like she's got some gumption. I really enjoyed our conversation. met back up with Pollyanna on the trail and hiked most of the day with her. I, uh, I'm glad I got to, I got to know her a little. So Pollyanna, congratulations early on finishing the trail this year. I'll be happy for you. So I'm feeling so-so today. I'm a little worn out for some reason. I'm uh, dragging, let's just say. So it's, uh, Ten and a half miles done so far, and I have three to go. It's 3.30 in the afternoon, yeah, so maybe I'll get out in a, by 4.30 or 5, hopefully. So it's a nice day to be hiking. Like I said, though, I'm just ready to get off for, for a little bit. I still have my headache. I need to uh, probably take an aspirin when I get back to the car. I have them with me, but I'm too lazy to get it out. It's 
it's a little before four and I thought it was a little earlier and I got two miles to go so I'm hoping to be done by five o'clock I've got mostly downhill as long as the rocks don't get crazy that should be doable I'm almost back to the car probably got a tenth of a mile left to go you can tell from the traffic it's gonna get loud so I figured I'd do my recap here I am uh, not my normal self today <laughs> I'm a little tired I'm uh, not feeling the best um, I got 13.8 miles in or 13.5 and I um, had a nice view at one of the outlooks I like that view and then I ran into Pollyanna and luckily she let me hike with her today so that made the day go fast as I said I'm tired I'm almost back at the car I did take a Tylenol too so hopefully those will kick in and I'll get some rest tonight and I'm sure tomorrow will be better my body's just saying it's time go get some rest and I forgot to mention I finished the roller coaster today so between yesterday and today that 13 or 14 mile section is done